So have you, you've never done any like this before, have you? Not, not really, no. No, it's pretty much first time. Right, are we ready? Yep. So when I'm doing this, am I looking at the camera or am I looking at him? Sam. I think I'm definitely the, the intelligent one out of the three. Um, so the other two are good and they're good at their jobs and stuff, but I think if you're looking for edge, <laughs> they will come to me a bit more. No, to be honest, um, yeah, I'm apparently I'm the only one that can draw. Uh, I definitely have the best beard out of everyone. Um, so my main interests are like, the mechanical design aspect of it. Um, spent quite a lot of time with doing the CAD, I really enjoy that. So, so do you think you're like, one of the best? Of course, definitely. I'd say I'm the logical one of the group. The other two guys like to joke that I like data way too much. But uh, they're not wrong. So in this episode, we're going to discuss uh, about a little bit about our graduate project. Um, we're going to talk to you about how we've managed to go from just an idea all the way to sketching on paper. And then throughout this, this video series, we'll be uh, testing those ideas, seeing what works, what doesn't work. And then from there, we'll, we'll start refining our product, designing it to a more specified specification. That's it. Uh, wow. Wow, extra low. Us three are the first wave of new grads, so it's been a bit of a learning curve for us and Tharsis, but we've really been able to get the freedom to try out different aspects of the company, spend basically a year rotating around, finding out what we like, what we enjoy. I love my beard. I think a lot of businesses and grads projects, and I know I was a grad once in, a, in a, an advertising agency in London, um, they do do projects, but they're very short term, they're not very well supported, and they're very prescriptive. You're told what you have to do. Whereas um, our guys have just been able to kind of totally go their own way with it and use their imaginations and do something different and, and actually do something which, you know, is a game changer, delivers competitive advantage. <laughs> So the project so far um, initially started with us looking at the graduates ourselves. We, we knew we wanted to do a project for our second year as a graduate. This then developed into meeting with different departments around the business and seeing what problems or improvements they had. Basically we noticed that Tharsis have got no way of, of showing their projects. A lot of them are held down by like non-disclosure agreements which basically means that you can't show you can't show what's going on behind these doors. Um, but we really wanted to show the Tharsis capabilities to people. I realised that it gave us an opportunity to get involved in the project, which could be really quite exciting and quite a game changer for the marketing department, which is what Tharsis is about, really. It's about game changing. Um, but also a project which would give us a degree of entertainment and amusement as it rolls out. <laughs> it's certainly done that. <laughs> So the key is unique to Tharsis and it can be used in a variety of ways. So it can be used as just a small problem solving tool. Whether it's an actual product or just, just a problem, it's used throughout the business. So a single department, they know what they need to deliver to give it to the next department to do their section. In our project at the moment, we are currently at just the design stage, at the first stage of the key. Um, and we need to start seeking clarity and understanding the needs and wants of the customer. Once we had a, a defined problem statement from marketing, me and Sam and Ed, we sat in a room and we developed this mind map, which exp expands and explores all the needs and wants of that project. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing in the next couple of weeks how that kind of solidifies and we get some solid examples of, of where we're going, but yeah, it's, it's exciting. So we've just started sketching concept ideas and we're hoping to get quite a few more together once we've got a good number that match our needs and wants, match that flow chart and tick those uh, requirements, we'll, uh, we'll do something with them. Um, we've, got, we've got a few products, so a few ideas. Um, some of them are stupid. We'll turn them into a magical robot that solves global yeah, hunger. <laughs> and some of them are a bit more like, uh, like actually, we'll 
will potentially be useful. One of them is a jigsaw solving robot. We've also got a stair climbing robot. It's basically a robot that will climb up steps for you. We haven't seen anything like that, so we thought it might be a good idea to try and see if we can create it. Um, what other ones have we got? I, I think maybe Albany. Oh, we're, I can't remember the ideas. Has anybody got so the list it, are, anyway? are, are they still really initial? Yeah, like, they're, still yeah. Really yeah. They're, they're really crappy sketches at the moment. Right. Apart from Sam's, which kind of look like something that might make sense. So we haven't actually fully decided as to what we're going to make at the moment. Um, we're in the design phase. Uh, we know that it's definitely going to be a physical product. And we know that we want to take it to showcase events and recruitment events and days like that. Um, there's been a few ideas that have been thrown around. Um, but at the moment, they're, they remain as ideas. <laughs> Uh, I just love the freedom of it. I don't think many companies give you a lot of chance just to design and go away and, and give you the freedom to, to crack on with a project, but Thalsus definitely do. It's not like a normal engineering company where you will be designing one thing day in, day out. Every day is different. Every month there's, there could be a different project coming in the door, but you're working on, working on it as constant challenges every day. So do you like the guys you Um They've got the moments, yeah. Um, we work as a good team, though. We're like we've got different strengths, um, and we clash heads every now and then. But that's that's all part and parcel of being a good team. I'm amazed that they haven't killed each other by now. I have learned so much in this first year working at Tharsis in a practical sense that combines with the theoretical knowledge that I gained at uni, which is uh, I think it's rounded me out nicely as an engineer so far. Anyway, lots of room for improvement stuff. So in the next episode, we're going to do more about design. Um, we're hoping to get more like line drawings and actual detail and technical specifications. Um, we'll also get to the point where it's in three dimensions. So we'll go on, we'll go on CAD um, and we'll start to actually try and buy some of the items and start testing aspects of it as well. Mm -hmm.